Atropine is a medication commonly used in medicine to treat a range of conditions, including bradycardia, irritable bowel syndrome, and poisoning by certain substances such as organophosphate pesticides. Today, we're going to talk about the pharmacokinetics of atropine, which refers to how the body processes and affects the drug. When atropine is taken orally, it is rapidly absorbed into the bloodstream through the gastrointestinal tract. However, due to the first-pass metabolism in the liver, only a small fraction of the drug reaches systemic circulation. Intravenous injection, on the other hand, results in rapid and complete absorption of atropine. Another route of administration for atropine is inhalation, such as in the case of nerve gas exposure. When inhaled, atropine is rapidly absorbed through the lungs. Once in the bloodstream, atropine is distributed throughout the body and crosses the blood-brain barrier, allowing it to affect the central nervous system. The liver plays a major role in the metabolism of atropine. The drug is broken down by enzymes in the liver into inactive metabolites, which are then excreted from the body. Atropine is primarily excreted from the body through the kidneys in urine. The duration of action of atropine varies depending on the route of administration. When injected intravenously, the effects of atropine can last up to 4 hours, while oral administration can result in a longer duration of action. It's important to note that the dosage of atropine should be carefully monitored to avoid adverse effects such as dry mouth, blurred vision, and confusion. Understanding the pharmacokinetics of atropine is crucial for healthcare providers to effectively administer the drug and treat a range of conditions. Now, how atropine works for the treatment of bradycardia. Bradycardia is a medical condition where the heart rate is slower than the normal range of 60 to 100 beats per minute. It can be caused by various factors, such as an underlying heart condition, medication side effects, or even normal aging. Bradycardia can lead to symptoms like dizziness, fainting, shortness of breath, and fatigue. Atropine is a medication that is commonly used to treat bradycardia. Atropine belongs to a class of drugs called anticholinergics, which means it works by blocking the action of a neurotransmitter called acetylcholine in the body. Acetylcholine is responsible for slowing down the heart rate by stimulating a part of the nervous system called the parasympathetic nervous system. By blocking the action of acetylcholine, atropine helps to increase the heart rate by allowing the sympathetic nervous system to take over. The sympathetic nervous system is responsible for increasing the heart rate and is also known as the fight or flight response. By stimulating this response, atropine helps to increase the heart rate and improve blood flow to the body. Atropine is usually given intravenously, meaning it is injected directly into a vein. The dosage of atropine varies depending on the severity of the bradycardia and the patient's overall health. It is important to note that atropine should not be used in patients with certain medical conditions, such as glaucoma, urinary retention, or an allergy to atropine. Atropine is a very important drug used in emergency units in the treatment of organophosphate poisoning as well as sudden cardiac arrest, it is also used in the treatment of IBS and myopia control. In the next video, we will talk in detail about how atropine works in myopia control or nearsightedness. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support us to learn more, thank you.